Hello everyone, my name is Alton Smith and I'm going to do a presentation, demonstration on some of my Crooks tubes here. Um, Crooks tubes were made in England and Germany in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, this particular tube is a liquid fill tube. This tube was on the cover of Christie's Magazine in one of their big auction sales. Uh, very pretty tube. Very hard tube to find. Uh, most Crooks tubes you get today are not original. They're reproductions. Original tubes are very hard to come by today. Very few of them are really original. Let's show you a different one. This is a, another pretty tube right here. Not sure how good it's showing up on the camera, but we're going to try to do our best on them today. Uh, it's passed through the thing from one direction to another. You can reverse the polarity and watch the blue go from the top to the bottom. It changes the flow of it. This is a Okay, tube, flower tube. Uh, I like these kind of tubes. Hard to find though today. Let's see if I can turn it around where the camera can get a decent shot at it. Uh, very pretty tube. This is a rose tube here. I know most of these are probably not having good pictures in the camera. I'm up close and really beautiful stuff. Probably seven, eight different of these type right here. Uh, you see these come up in auctions of maybe once or twice a year, not very often. This is a Christmas wreath one here. Very pretty. This is an original x-ray tube here. I will not demonstrate it. It puts too much x-rays out for me to do with it. Uh, this is probably from the late 1800s, early 1900s here. And this is similar to a radio meter tube here that uses sunlight to turn it, but this one uses an electronic beam to do it. Electron beams hit the meter and makes it turn. This particular one takes a lot more power and I'm putting through it to do it. I'd have to put it on high power to really to get it to work good. you ever get it to move and it works fine even on low power you just have to get the thing moving next one I'm going to do is called a Maltese cross I'm going to do two different Maltese cross tubes in here Maltese cross I won't run for very long it emits soft x-rays 
soft x rays are not actually good for you. The best across it emits. Try not to run a lot of power through it because it emits more soft x rays with the more power you've got running through it. There's another Maltese cross from green on the end of it. When you change the direction of the photons, the cross goes away. The cross comes back. When the beam's electricity comes this way, it hits it and makes a shadow of a cross. This tube right here is a mineral rock tube. I had it ordered from Germany. A uh, guy over there made it for me, but it come and it got broke right here at the end. I guess it wasn't a wise idea to buy a piece of glass with rocks and it being shipped from Germany because the rocks move around everywhere in the tube. Uh, wasn't a good idea, so I ended up having a display thing instead of something that actually would work. This is a paddle wheel tube here, and I know already I can't make it work. I don't have things set powered enough to do it. You turn the voltage on, the paddle wheel runs back and forth with it, and it goes different directions. And you change it by the polarity and makes it go. The last thing I'm going to do is the uh, gas fuel tubes here. Gas fuel tubes are gas is ignited by the high voltage and the tube lights. That is oxygen. This is argon, neon, krypton, mercury, carbon dioxide, and I think it's cryon down here. Gas tubes are very pretty and enjoyable to use. They make probably eight or different, eight or ten different types of these things, and run the different power levels and get brightness in their different thing. They are very pretty. This concludes the demonstration on my Crooks tubes. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope the video comes out good enough where y'all can see them because there is actually a lot of different tubes here I could have showed, but it's hard to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.